Hi, this is David Moskowitz here with Membership Academy. In this video, what I wanted to do is to very quickly show you how you can get rid of this very annoying new navigation bar that's installed by the newest version of WordPress 3.1. For some reason, they decided to add in this little uh, navigation up here. Uh, I don't know why they did this. If I wanted a navigation up there, I would have done it myself, or I would have bought a theme with that up there. But anyway, they decided to put it up there. I don't like it. I'm going to get rid of it. Here's how to do it. It's actually extremely simple to do. All you need to do is to go into your theme. In this case, I'm in my Genesis theme, and that's under your WP-Content Themes. And then you're going to have a forward slash in the theme name. So in this case, it's Genesis. And you download the file called functions.php. Okay, so now that you've downloaded the file, go ahead and open it up in some sort of text browser. In this case, I'm just using Notepad. And add these two lines of code here. And this first line here is going to turn off the admin bar. And the second line here is going to remove it from people being able to add it back in on their personal preferences. Right now, if they were to go into their dashboard, they would have the ability to turn this on and off. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if I go into profile here, it has the show admin bar here. And I don't want that at all, so I'm going to add that to it as well. And then you just go ahead and save it and upload it. Okay, and when I go back into the front page here, you'll see that that's disappeared. Now, like I said, this is version 3.1 of WordPress, and I have it integrated here with a member. So it is working okay with the AM Protect plugin and a member. I've also done a little bit of testing with Wishlist, and it seems to be working okay with that. I haven't run into any issues yet. If you are a premium member and you have any problems with these integrations, go ahead and post that to the members forum over at Membership Academy and we'll do our best to figure out the solution to the problem. Thank you very much and good luck with your membership site.